Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on the skill Unity SDK by 4Players. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to quickly integrate visual feedback into your skill project when you receive real-time notifications from the skill backend. This includes, for example, showing a simple UI flash when challenges are updated, and how to, for example, play a particle effect when a challenge was finished or a battle pass was unlocked. Okay, let's dive right into it. I've already prepared three sample scenes for you. And in those sample scenes, we've got a fully set up skill manager, the My Skill Event script. As always, this is just a simple script that fires off an kill enemy event when pressing the E button. And the personal challenge canvas prefab, which we've already got available in the Skills Unity SDK under Packages, Runtime Prefabs. Uh, as always, if you need help getting to this point, I'll leave a link to our quick start video in the description. Okay, so our first step would be to adjust the, or to implement the UI flash. So right now, we start up, we've got our two categories, and if we press the E button, there's only basically the progress bar being updated. But now we want to have some visual feedback in the form of a, like an UI flash around this challenge. So it's more noticeable for our player. And we do this by navigating to our content object in the challenges canvas. And in here, we can exchange the challenge prefab. So this prefab is used by the category to dynamically create the list of challenges uh, in our scene. And if we want to exchange this, so uh, this challenge prefab is um, just inside of the runtime personal challenges folder. And we want to exchange this for a prefab located in the samples. So let's um, go the, to the samples, sample one, and then effects. And in here, we've already got some prefabs prepared for you. And we are interested in the personal challenge with effects prefab. So let's take a look at that. You can already see we've got like this kind of flash already started in here. And the only thing that we did is drop in this skill challenge flash object in here. And this is nothing fancy, it is basically just an image with a sprite in the form of our challenge with a little bit of like a blur at the, at the edges and also a material that is just like a particle additive material. Additionally, we've also got the skill UI flash animation script and this script just simply interpolates the alpha value of this color from 0 to 1 and back to 0 inside of the duration of 0 0.5. So this is just a simple sample script. If you want to adjust the effect yourself, you can just basically use any kind of uh, script that you've got flying around yourself or use any kind of a tweening engine or something. So basically what this effect does is animate to, uh, to 100 in the alpha and then back to uh, zero again. But it doesn't do this automatically. So the skill UI flash animation isn't bound to anything. We, we still have to start the animation somewhere. For this, we're going to use the skill challenge item script and the unity event in here. So uh, the on challenge score changed event is fired whenever the goal of the challenge or the progress of the challenge changes. And it simply calls the skill UI flash animation dot play on the uh, yeah, skill UI flash animation script. And yeah, so this is the setup for our prefab. And now we want to use that in our personal canvas. Okay, so let's exchange this. For that, we're going to just drop in the personal challenge with effects in here. 
and basically we should already be done. Let's try it out. So now if we press the E button, we can see we've got a simple UI flash in here. Cool. Next up, let's check out how we can fire off some particle effects when anything person challenge related happens in the scene. For that, we've got a script set up for you. So let's create an empty object. Let's call it skill effects. Let's go to the skill personal challenge events. And we're just going to use this basically to fire off particle systems. Just as a small description, the unlocked is just fired off when a personal challenge is unlocked, activated when it's activated, progress updated, completed is fired off when the user has completed a challenge but not yet claimed it. And claimed is then when both the challenge is finished and the reward was claimed. Okay, but instead of now creating a particle effect by ourselves and uh, connecting everything by ourselves, we're just going to use the effects sample personal challenge events uh, prefab that is already supplied in the samples of the skill Unity SDK. So let's drop this in here and let's take a look at this. So you can see that we just referencing the particle systems in here and simply calling particle system dot play in here. So you just have to reference the, the correct object and then select the function that you want to invoke. Let's make sure that we can actually see the effect when it's fired off. Ah, okay, perfect. So then let's try it out if it already works. If we press E, we can see like a simple splash and something more fancy when we actually finish our challenge. And also if we press unlocked or activate, there are different effects being played. Okay, let's continue with battle passes. So in here, we're going to do something very similar with the level challenges. So we want to get them to flash. And similar to the uh, personal challenges with flash, we've, we've also got a battle pass challenge with effects in here. And as you've already seen, we've got a very similar prefab in here too. An image and a skill UI flash animation and just the alpha being lerped from 0 to 1 and then to 0 again. And similar to the personal challenge item, we've got Unity events in here that we use to actually play the skill UI flash animation. And now we're going to use that in a battle pass canvas. So let's navigate to battle pass canvas challenges and then the battle pass challenges in here. And you can see that we've got a challenge prefab. We have to exchange and a completed challenge prefab. We, uh, there's also like a little prefab variant in here. So you can see the uh, battle pass challenge completed has a little bit of an other color scheme and the effect skill UI flash just uh, replicates this color change basically. Okay, so back to the battle pass challenges and we are going to replace those prefabs in here. So this is the default challenge prefab or the unfinished prefab and the challenge completed prefab. So let's test it out. If we now press E a few times, okay, and you can see that the challenge in here also flashes. Perfect.
Now let's do the same that we did before for the personal challenges. Let's create an empty object. Let's call it skill effects and let's take a look at the battle pass event script. So in here we've also got a few uh, um, unity events that react to uh, certain real-time updates that we receive from the skill backend. And there's also already a prefab using those events to fire off particle effects which is so you just find it under skills unity sdk sample effects and we're going to use the effect sample battle pass events by the way those events are just going to be played whenever the currently active battle pass is updated okay so we've got three uh, particle systems that are being played okay let's actually test if they work We're going to unlock the battle pass and it shows us like a blue particle effect, yellow, a smaller particle effect with change updates, and then a nice fancy particle effect once a challenge was completed and a new battle pass level was activated. Okay, let's directly switch over to the leaderboards. And in here, we've just got our standard setup again with the my skill events skill managers already set up and also which is important the leaderboard canvas with the leaderboard id remember you can find your leaderboard id in the admin panel and now our goal is actually to first of all get this top display of the current users ranking to flash whenever the users ranking changes so we're again going to use a special prefab for that called the leaderboard ranking with effect and so let's take a look at this prefab you can see that the effect skill ui flash is located in here and like before it's just going to animate basically the alpha value from zero to one and then to zero again and it is called using the skill leaderboard ranking item and the on ranking changed unity event which simply just calls the skill ui flash animation dot play function so let's use that in our leaderboard canvas actually so let's first make this visible and go to the header and we've already got our default ranking user being used in here so let's deactivate that and let's instead drop in the leaderboard ranking with effect inside of the header now we have to change or tell this leaderboard to actually use that ranking object for display so you can see the current user's ranking is is connected in here currently it's the referring the ranking user so let's replace that Put that in here and we've already got the skill ui flashes set up so our current user is in place 19 and if we press e a few times you can see that whenever his rank changes the ui actually flashes so let's put him up a few ranks all right Okay, everything works as expected. Now we can also actually play some particle effects. Again, using a simple utility script called the leaderboard events. And in here, important is actually that we insert the leaderboard ID for which we want to, uh, the events in here to be invoked. So let's get that from our leaderboard. Let's copy that in and now we actually want to play an effect when the user's ranking decreased so in this case a smaller ranking is actually better but instead of creating the particle effect ourselves and actually playing the the particle system or uh, ourselves let's just use the sample leaderboard events in here 
So let's drop those particle effects in. And let's replace the leaderboard ID with the correct leaderboard ID. And let's make actually sure that we can see the particle effects. So let's move the leaderboard over here a little bit. Maybe make a little bit smaller. And also the particle effect itself. I think, let's take a look at where the main camera is located. So let's move the particle effects a little bit to the right here. And here we can actually see the particle effect. Okay, so let's test if actually everything works. So we are just playing the, the ranked up particle effect when the rank goes up and the rank down, which is a little bit slower, a little bit less fancy when we rank down. Okay, so let's test this out. We press E and we rank up. And the ranked up particle effect gets played. All right, we're ranking up a little, uh, quite a lot. Okay, and already in fifth place and everything works as expected. I mean, of course, you can use those event scripts also to uh, define any kind of other logic that you want to be played or any kind of like audio, visual feedback or gameplay events actually can be also started using those event scripts. Yeah, I hope this video could help you and don't forget to actually check out our other tutorial videos on audio feedback and also a, qu a quick start video. Links are down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.